Hi, I'm Melanie Bowell. I'm the principal at St Francis of Assisi Catholic Primary School in Humpty Doo in, in the Northern Territory. Humpty Doo is based in the rural area of Darwin and approximately about three years ago as a community we decided to go down the visible learning journey and that has meant for us that our children have very clear learning intentions and success criteria. They understand what it is that they have to learn and what they have to do to get there. We have 170 students here at St Francis. They're from foundation or transition through to year six. And of our 170 students, we have about 20 students with additional learning needs. So these learning needs may actually require them to have support to physically access our school through to those students that need support to access the curriculum at an age appropriate level. Our teachers work really hard to use the Australian curriculum in conjunction with the general capabilities to cater learning to meet the needs of all of our students. As a classroom teacher, when I begin to plan um, for my class as a whole, um, keeping in mind my students with special needs, we begin by looking at the age appropriate content for that year level uh, and that becomes the context and the basis of the learning. We then um, look at the general capabilities and um, in reference to those particular students, what areas they need, um, they are, what level they are at in their development of those general capabilities. Um, usually we work on developing the literacy and the numeracy where appropriate. So an example of how we've done this um, in regards to writing task in literacy, the students were writing narratives uh, for our students who were um, unable to access the curriculum content in that way, we've looked at the general capabilities and uh, looked at the literacy skills that they needed to develop. We've begun uh, with our oral language skills and so for those particular students the task included um, an oral description of their story. They used puppets to role play what was happening with the characters. They then took photos of what was happening and then the student worked with an ISA to um, orally um, explain what was happening in his story. In my class there is a wide range of diverse needs and abilities. We do allow and provide them access to the curriculum at the age appropriate level. So for one particular student in the class we um, focus on the social emotional general capability and that's done in consultation with her parents. So they've identified that their main concern and um, goal for this student is to achieve in the social emotional area. An example in our maths lesson today, um, so we've been working on data collection and representing data in graphs. The instructional teaching will occur for the whole class with the particular student involved in that. And then as we break out into our activities, the children will go and work on interpreting graphs to answer questions. Um, the identified student, her strategies for collecting data and answering the questions has been modified. Um, so a lot of hers will be hands-on and interacting with her peers to bring in that social emotional area as well. There has been a clear and shared vision that what we wanted for our kids at St Francis was to do really well not just do okay, do really well. And how we've done that is, is through sharing uh, uh, with each other best practices. We're collaborative. Um, how we structure our release with the teachers is the, the, the teams get to be released off class together. So that's when they do their planning and their programming and they have their conversations, they moderate, they share ideas. That's been really important because I suppose it's the child. The child is, is why we're there.